Jeff Devlin's been renovating homes for more than 20 years. As the host of DIY Network's Stonehouse Revival, Jeff's specialty is to make old things new again, like turning this window into a medicine cabinet. Incredible. Well, now he's here to help you with some easy DIY decor. Jeff Devlin, good morning. Good morning. So Stonehouse Revival, as you said, taking old things, making them new yeah. again, but keeping that character in your house, right? That's the one thing. I mean, we, yeah. we've, we skipped over history a lot of times. If you have an older house, uh, sticking with the details of the history, the craftsmanship, the quality, you know when you walk into an old building, yeah. how it feels, mm -hmm. how it smells. That's a lot of fun, but you can get those same feelings in any kind of house, whether it be mm -hmm. old, new, it all works together. For example, a wallpaper project. There's a way yeah. to make things a little more interesting, and it's not that hard. It's like no, wainscoting, Yeah, right? this is a wainscoting, but this isn't a, um, it's not traditional. Like you would say wallpaper, but wallpaper doesn't have depth. This is what's called a lincrusta okay. wallpaper. So you, as you can see over here, yeah. it's made from linseed oil oh, and nice. uh, wood flour. So oh, it's wow. basically an all natural product. Mm -hmm. So you can see the, the character, the texture on top. Right. And obviously on the wall, it just pops. It creates those shadow lines. It's really great. But it installs like wallpaper. So how, hard, just, how hard is it? Well, yeah. funny okay. you should say. So it's we got the soaked, adhesive. Right. So it already has the adhesive on it. We let it dry. We've already soaked it for 20 minutes in water so that it absorbs the adhesive uh, really oh, well. Okay. So again, we've, we've cheated a little bit by cutting it to length, but it's as simple as just literally putting it on the wall. Now I'm going to bring my felt roller over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you want to make sure that your pattern is going the right way. Uh, so right. what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck into your left because I'm right handed. Sure. So this will make it easier for me. So once you can get everything tucked in this corner, mm -hmm. voila, we push. So you have just like regular wallpaper, you have a little time to scoot it to where you want it. And yeah. you can see I can push it like so. And then I can just take the felt roller Oh. and roll it right on. Now, obviously, what's great about this is that it's very simple to cut. You can cut it with scissors. You can cut it with a utility knife. And Adorable, look, right? Yeah. And yeah. then when that dries, you can put your own little fun twist on it by adding a nice, uh, a nice Victorian blue, mm -hmm. a really deep red, and you can see That's the cool. value that you really add cool. that quick. I love that. We're, what about well, bringing lamps back? We've all, I mean, I don't want to say grandma's lamps all yeah. the time, but there are some lamps that are less than ideal in, mm -hmm. in your motif. And while this is a pretty lamp, what I like to do is add character to them. So this is a brass lamp. All mm -hmm. I did was add, take things around the house mm -hmm. and add it to my old brass lamp to give it that character. So what I just used is a little salt, mm -hmm. a little vinegar, and squirt it on. I just put it into a spray bottle like this, and I'll show you how, if you can do this, you can see some of the liquid on there right now. Right. It's just a mixture of that salt and vinegar. That sits on there, and what happens is it creates a reaction with the brass. And therefore, then you get all of these different color variations yeah. in there, and you create that instantaneous technique. Now, you have to, before that, you have to kind of sand it down just a right. little bit, use a little acetone to etch it. But once you do that, you can get that look, and here's what cool. it looks like afterwards. If you're afraid of, and some people are like, yeah. well, I don't want to get into the chemistry behind it, you can right. actually buy products that you can actually put right on top of the lamp itself. Oh, okay. So again, there's so many easy things right. to do. And if you want to go crazy, you can use paint. And we painted this with a bunch of different colors it looks of paint. looks kind of vertigrous. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Okay, cool. And right. a bench. My favorite. Because this is so, so simple. Most mm -hmm. people, like DIY doesn't have to be hard anymore. You can go and buy legs. Mm -hmm. You can get them whatever you want. These are hairpin legs. They cost $12 a piece. Oh, wow. So all told, this is a very inexpensive bench. It's $140 in material. This is a beautiful slab of walnut right mm -hmm. here. Pretty, yeah. And it's as simple as this. You basically grab your screws. You can pre-drill because obviously this is a larger screw. You can screw it right in like so. Mm -hmm. the, the benefit to something like this is if, if you have an older piece of wood mm -hmm. from your grandfather, yeah. from a family member or something like that, yeah. you can take that, add these legs. It could be a live edge. It could be whatever. Whatever you have laying around and you yeah. can create a bench. Very You're cool. upcycling. That's oh, great. gosh, yes. Yep. Awesome. Thank you so great. much. And check out these DIYs on today.com slash home.